Hello everybody and welcome to You as a Fool Plays RimWorld The Ideology Update So we're back in RimWorld because they put out a new update I don't know if you've seen it, it's called Ideology Now I did everything off camera in the setup I'm going to run you through it But there is so much to chop and change and do in the, the start of the game But I just wanted to run you through our people before we drop in So careful shooter, great memory Welsh Wolf, can't fight very well, great mining, great animals, great crafting, great intellectual, great artistic, love it. Selma Nash, call our seller, great construction, which we need, great plants, which you need, fast learner, is a bit greedy, jogger, moves fast, wicked. Isla Adams, the hunter, great shooting, great melee, also good animals, good plants, chemical interest, that's fine, jealous, it happens. Night Owl, cool. So these are our three people. I've chosen where we're going. We also have the royalty stuff installed. Um, so everything that comes with royalty, awesome. The Shattered Empire, all the stuff we did in the last one, as well as all the ideology stuff. So the three of us awake in our crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. Let me just move the... There we go, the, the mic over a little bit. Uh, you better get to these skateboards before your ship is torn apart. Sometimes later you land on this unknown rim while there's pieces of the shredded starship fall around you. You start making plans to survive. So this is where we are. We chose a mountainous area. The reason why will become apparent in just a moment. So first things first. Architect orders. Allow everything. Oh, is that our papa? Oh, his name is Destruction. That's awesome. So, first things first, get armed. You never know when threats are gonna arrive. We went for the standard three people crash landed and we chose a mountainous area because of our ideology. So all of these things you can change when you create your ideology. The factions, let me run you through it first. We know these guys, you always have a civil outlander union and a rough outlander union. Always had them. Then the gentle tribe, the fierce tribe, and the pirate gang. You can also add in, and we did add in, a savage tribe, a cannibal tribe, a nudist tribe, and a cannibal pirate gang. So, basically what that means is there's more factions. Oh, and the, the shattered empire from the royalty DLC. So... The Empire can like us, the Nudists can like us, the Gentle Tribe can like us, and the Civil Guys can like us. The other guys can like us, but they don't. So you have minus 210. Because we have competing ideologies and things like that. And then the Cannibals will never like you, or the Pirates. So these, these are the factions. These factions all have their own ideologies. These guys are embodied theists. They exalt diversity of thought. They just, they're free in love with everyone. And they have two gods. Various people. These guys, they're supremacists. So they hate, and flesh purists and ranchers. So they love animals. They love, they hate body modification. And they want to conquer. You get the idea. Interestingly, both the gentle and savage tribes. So gentle and angry tribe, fierce tribe. Conform to the same ideology. Dim, dim Calvinism. But... One of them doesn't like us, one of them does. So these guys prefer to fight in the darkness, and they like to proselytize their beliefs to other people. Supremacy, uh, supremacy is human primacy. Cannibal. The nudist guys with the tree connection, all good, all chill. Um, raiders, we know them. Didn't mean to click on that. Cannibals. So we have two cannibal groups. And occasionally you can have three, but we, we just have two. Because I've, I've done a bit of this off camera, like I started my own game off camera. These are the Shattered Empire. And these guys, Patriot University, I believe these are anyone you find in the ancient dangers so that are scattered around the map sometimes. You know, weird buildings that you can mine into. And sometimes find stuff. I think they're the guys who can sometimes be in those. So, us ourselves. We are the true architectists. We are loyal to our people. We have a collectivist way of thinking. 
transhumanist, so we like body modification, and tunneler. Now because of this, they think slavery is honourable, because you can enslave people in this. Whether we do that, I don't know. But they think it's honourable, which I think, if they don't have slaves, they're a bit upset, but whatever. They like body modification, they like biosculpting, they like sleep superchargers, and they demand that we re have age reversal, like, machines at some point. And we get more mining, or more yield from mining, and love insect meat because we're tunnelers. Uh, and you can assign roles to people, you can have rituals, you can collect relics, we venerate the cobra, which just came preset and I didn't change it, because why not, we have cobras all over the place, and you can even change the hairs and tattoos, so basically, it's popping off, and there's so much in the ideology update. Uh, and they've changed the way the map looks as well, because there's little cars and stuff, broken of course, just scattered all over the place. Now, we used to, whenever we did this, we would go to a, te a temperate forest, nice and chill. Today, we are in a, um, what is it called? A tropical rainforest. So it's a little more muggy, which I hate, and a little more diseasy, which I also hate. But it's a different, a different way of playing. We've never played like this before, so I figured, why not? Now I think, to start with, we're gonna live in this area here. I think this is a convenient place to start. Some houses by the river. Uh, so, to start with, we we need to start building. Um, you know, it's gonna take a little while to remember everything. Oh, that's right, we need wood. So, chop these trees down. I know it's a lot, but we're gonna need a lot of wood. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so while they're chopping trees down, we're gonna start building a war. And I'm gonna talk you through some more of the ideology stuff. So basically, let's go down here. For now. So basically, uh, with the ideology update, it comes in two parts. Part one is, um, I'll put some beds in there. Part one is a free update, the 1.13 update that everybody got, and they all got some stuff like new, some new stuff to build, things like that. Then the ideology update adds all of this. So this isn't in the free version. This is a DLC you pay for, but the free version has a bunch of other stuff like new tools, new buildings, all that kind of jazz. Mm, boop. So to start with, we're just going to chuck down a stockpile zone in here. Uh, and this is where they're going to live. Uh, for the, in, the, in the meantime, no, not, not forever. You also get a style. So the tables used to be square. The reason they're hexagonal is because we have the techist style. Because we are tech people, techisty people, we have hexagonal shaped tables, um, we have some hexagonal shaped tiles. I also went with morbid, so we could have morbid slabs that you can put down, like sandstone slabs shaped into spines and things, because I think it, it'd be, it feels very um, Adeptus Mechanicus, you know, in the Warhammer universe. We love both skulls and uh, technology. And so I kind of like that idea. So we're going to live in this area. We've got some early building going on. Oh, I made two doors. Extremely convenient. I meant to do that. You wouldn't even believe how much I meant to do that. So, first things, well, second things second, because the first things first, we, uh, we made all of this. Then, research bench. We need a research bench because we have one, two, three steam geysers, four steam geysers, extremely close. And I don't know if this was always the case, maybe it's because we're kind of techy, but if we look under research, we can immediately learn geothermal power, which I'm going to ask them to do, because then we can get uh, the steam vents up and running and geothermal power up and running 
so quickly. It'll be huge. So I hope you guys are excited for more RimWorld. It's been ages since we've done our RimWorld colony, and I love the game. And it's just surprising, they're like, by the way, we made more content. And everyone was like, what? Since when? They were like, lol, psych, since ages. So now, we've got all this stuff. So there's a, there's a bunch of new mechanics that come with the, uh, the ideology stuff. From converting your prisoners to your ideology, so you don't clash, to... You know, depending on you know, differing ideologies, people might hate it. Our guys uh, appreciate diversity of thought. So, like, if you're from a different ideology, it's kind of cool. And we're happy to hear about new things. But there are people who can just be, like, extremely racist and hate, hate other people. And we're going to shoot those people in the face. Or capture them and shmenshmlave them. Hmm? Sounds good to me. So what we got to remember is huge mountain that we can mine into and our people like tunneling. They like living underground. This is the life for them. So we're going to be doing a lot of that. Uh, let me speed this up actually as well. So I'm happy for them to do this. This is just a temporary area for them to live. I'm not going to build them yet, but I'm going to make some plans for some housing areas. Uh, I would want them to be... Oh, sorry, there's a hair on the mic. Seven by nine exterior walls. Sorry, no, eight by nine, so it's six by seven interior walls. Yeah. So these will be their houses. Eventually. Because everybody wants a nice room. I, I don't blame them. Uh, if you're wondering what that sound was, by the way, that sounded like something sizzling, <laughs> it was this snake killing this chinchilla. It happens. Also, 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 zones growing so we're gonna grow some straw so I'm getting carried away with the music because I love it so much first things first I keep saying that even though none of it is the first thing. Growing zone, this is going to be strawberries. Because we need food immediately. Because when I did these kind of off-camera ones, food was one of the issues we ran into so quickly. Um, we are also, because... I, I think because of the tropical rainforest setting, we are in permanent summer. Which means... We always have summer, which means it's a year-round growing zone. But we need to focus on getting power up and then... Go watermelon, actually, first. Getting power up and then getting um, cooling up. Because it's, it's probably not going to get very cold around here. But it will get very warm. It's 34... Pardon me. It's 34 degrees outside right now. 30 degrees inside, I would be dying in real life. This is too warm for me. I get it. So I'm, I'm, I respect that our colonists would like some coolness. I, I endeavour to do that. We also need to change their priorities. So everybody will always fight fires. They will always be a patient. Our doctor, who isn't actually that good, but like she's the best we got. Uh, and even though this guy has no doctoring skill, he should attempt to learn. They will always doctor, always bed rest, always basic, and basic is like switch flicking. Terrible warden. People love handling animals. That's good. That person would hunt but doesn't have a ranged weapon. You should mine, smith, and eight and eight. 
Um, you should also grow and plant cut and mine and you should all construct and then you should research actually you should research first only because we want to learn water power so that we can build a cooler and have a fridge going immediately so now let's have a little look around where we where we landed because I haven't seen this map before. I, I loaded it up the same time as you guys did. Um, compacted steel. More steel. Looks like there's a hole behind there. Machinery. Steel. Now we should get more machinery and steel per chunk than we otherwise would because our people love mining. So we should actually be pretty efficient miners. Loads of steel and machinery. And I'm sure there's loads of steel... Uh, oh, there's loads more here. And I'm sure there's loads of it in this area as well. So we're definitely going to have an area in here. We'll probably, honestly, we'll probably have a fridge, like, built into here. Because it should stay cooler, because it's under a mountain. Now, you can get bugs. You know, bugs can show up anywhere that's considered overhead mountain. Which I don't think we have anywhere like that yet. But, but when you do, like I say, you can get bugs. Bugs suck. <laughs> they really do. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Minor break risk. I bet you need some horseshoe pins before you want to die. Um, so let's just check people's needs. Visitors. My surroundings are very architectonic. That's fine, but a diverse environment. Yeah. So, they like having architectonic surroundings like we do, but they would like some people of other diverse ideologies. So, when we capture some people, assuming they're not cannibals, if they're like just kind of the antagonistic people, we may keep them with their own ideologies. Uh, oh, yeah, they do have a little mood debuff from not having slaves, but. We, we may fix that, we may not. Greedy for impressive bedroom. We've got a lot of words. A group from Albion visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. Do we have someone who's good at so social? One. Zero. Incapable. <laughs> okay, well... We should look for someone who's sociable. Oh, when we get the chance. So they have peelers, packet survival meals. We would never sell you our Yorkshire Terrier. Bonded to Wolf. Classic. I think we're all good. I don't think we really want to trade with you. So they have a place to live. This is good. I think we should maybe start them on their own rooms quite soon actually it, oops oops because uh one of them wants their own bedroom for shawzies so i've got i've got a room design in mind i quite like doing them like this it makes it look nice I did it in my last colony as well. It makes it look nice. It also provides um, a decent amount of floor space. And where is it? Ends table? Yeah. Give everybody an end table. And then I'll give them a torch, but ideally that would be a lamp when we have you know, <laughs> real power. And we've got loads of wood, so they'll get on with that pretty quickly. And then once whoever it is is done with the research, then they can start building again. 
Do, do, do. Poor quality end table. Oh yeah, I forgot you can get different qualities of end tables and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh... <laughs> Box construction, poor quality, yeah. Yeah. A as we go, we'll have them rebuilt. Uh, a local monkey has gone mad. Okay. So get ready to ice the monkey. Adams is should be a great shot. Because she was like a soldier. It is a small target. Oh, it's cold. Okay. I was going to say, it's a small target, but it doesn't matter for Adams. Because she is a... Yeah, vat-grown soldier. So she's, she's great at melee and shooting, and she loves it. And she's a night owl. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Also, please have two hours of recreation before you go to sleep. Lovely. Okay. So I worry about food early on. You have no way of preparing proper meals. Yeah, I know. Build a stove, campfire, or nutrient dispenser. Okay. Um, where would I find a campfire? Can I really not make a campfire? Ah, temperature. Burns out after a few days. Um, let's just make a fueled stove. Steve. And we'll put it here in the communal area. Um, because we're going to be growing berries, actually, let's. We'll put a butcher's table next to it just in case. But because we're growing berries, we should just be able to cook them into meals without butchering them. So here's hoping. Also, yeah, we need floors. Boom. Okay, so, like I was saying, I hope you guys are ready for, for RimWorld, because I am so excited to play the Ideology update. I want to see how all the new Ideology stuff works. There's crazy new stuff. Like, there's these trees where you can spawn dryads or dryads. Not druids, but D-R-Y-A-D-S. I would pronounce it dryads. I don't know how you actually pronounce it. They're like little creatures that you can use to haul. Oh, uh, and there's, there's all sorts. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Sella thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Well, we're the, we're the, the techno archists, aren't we? Let's be the, the techno... Um, archist... Commune. Techno archist commune? No, you know what, we're going, we're going full Adeptus Mechanicus. With a... Techno... Mechanicus. 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 Techno Mechanicus. It's correct as far as I'm concerned. Uh, is things you should uh, give this settlement a name. So that's our clan name. Um, with a Techno Mechanicus. And our settlement, we live in the tropical rainforest. Um, we look, uh, New Amazonia. New Amazonia. No, even better. New, New Amazonia. In case anybody else thinks they want to be New Amazonia, we're the newest New Amazonia. We're New New York. We're the Techno Mechanicus, and we live in New Amazonia. New New Amazonia, my bad. I got it, almost got it wrong immediately myself. I think we've got a quite a nice area. 
Lots of natural cover. There's a heat wave. Oh dear God. Please help. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, well, check this out then. Temperature. We're going to build two passive coolers in here immediately to keep this room as cool as possible. So, passive cooler. Particle works by water evaporation. Must be regularly replenished with wood. It, uh, not efficient to refrigerate food. Yeah, that's fine. We've got two of them whose sole purpose is to keep this area below the, the 44 degrees that it is outside. And they're going to they're gonna stay sleeping in the barracks for now. Because I don't want to have to passively cool this area as well. Do you know what? This, oh, the, yeah. These guys should have vents though because well. then I could put like a cooler in here or maybe yeah like cooler here cooler here and then if we decide that we want a th another one on here they should all be naturally cooled by each other and because they're um because the coolers I, I don't want them to refrigerate. Obviously, in the fridge we will. But when they're not in the fridge, they're just going to be like passively cooling the environment. Um. So we don't need them to go down to like. Can you not build on that floor? I bet you can't. Floors. Terrain that supports heavy. Okay. Um, we can build a bridge over it. That might be ugly, but whatever. Uh, yeah, because the coolers just need to keep these comfortable rather than refrigerated, they should only use like a low amount of power. In theory, I don't want to say that that's true. So. Gonna run a power line all the way through. There's a raid from the Trebo Nation. They will prepare for a while and then attack. It's just Toxo, who's a great doctor and an undergrounder. Dude, with this, this, oh, I was gonna say this dude, this this lady, this lovely lady, may be extremely useful. Are they the cannibals? Have a look. No. That's okay. We can work with them, not being cannibals. This room, for now, is for prisoners. Which does actually mean we're going to need to put a passive cooler in here. And to deconstruct this torch. Wolf, stabber. Ice cold. Wolf. Adams, capture her. Perfect. Mm, boom. It's 48 degrees in there. Ew. Adams, what are you doing? Need material wood. Ah, oh, well, that would be why, wouldn't it? Please focus on that so that Toxo doesn't die. Okay. She's, she's going to do it. You botched the construction. Oh, my God. Is, hold up. Toxo, are you going to live? You are. 
Adams is a night owl. Please prioritize building, although I think you suck at building. You do. Just don't botch it. I'm gonna... Nailed it, okay. Hopefully that will keep it cool enough for Toxo. So let me show you the, the prisoner thing. So before, they had a resistance and they had a price if you sold them as a slave and how much you gain if you release them, but this these factions will never like us. So you can recruit them, slowly wears their resistance down, then recruits. You can just reduce the resistance without recruiting them and then they'll be at zero and you can one day come in and go boop, recruited. You can enslave, which is the same thing, but you reduce their will. Or you can just reduce their will and not enslave them. Or you can convert them. And converting takes their ideology and their certainty. You see their lesion of animism. This person is 60, so 86% certain in their beliefs. And as you convert them, it slowly wears that down. And then eventually they become converted to their own ideology. This person, I think, is useful enough of... Uh, Good medical skill, is an undergrounder, can shoot, can stab, can cook, can craft. Very valuable. I think we're just going to straight up recruit Toxo. It does mean that we, we need an, like an actual prisoner room. Because these guys just live on, on the ground. On the ground. I don't know what I was trying to say there. I think what I was trying to say is these guys will all have their own bedrooms now with, you know, if Toxo joins. This will become Toxo's room. Uh, and then we could convert this to a prisoner room, but there's like stuff in here to do. Add Bill. Butcher creature. Do forever. Add Bill. Cook simple meal. Do until we have 12. So. Cellar extremely importantly is working on the research this this is what i'm talking about but it's also where we have to end the video i'm going to end it at the end of this day which we're, we're very quickly approaching the goranlan tree Gor goranlan i will talk to you in depth about this in the next episode i'm going to turn this on so that we automatically rebuild our structures Wolf has heat stroke. He has 49 degrees out here. Oh my god. But for now, as they finish out this day, thank you everybody so much for watching. Basically, I want to try and keep these videos about 30, 35 minutes. And we're in the sweet spot right now. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you're excited to see what our new lovely colony does. We're going to do all the new stuff, including this. Uh, we're going to try and do... You know, all the ideology stuff. We're still going to be friends with the Empire because we can do psychic powers. All that kind of stuff. So thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Especially on these early few RimWorld ideology videos. Because it really helps the channel out. It helps us grow. It helps get the videos out there. And it's, it's good to see at the start of the series. Especially if you're ex as excited as I am. Hit the subscribe button for more content, past and future. Check the links in the description. Ring the bells, you know, when the videos go live. And I will see all of you in the next episode. See ya!